الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أي الهبة في الله طاعة الله وطاعة الرسول صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم can be a challenge when a person finds himself in a state of weak iman that's because طاعة الله وطاعة الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم is a part of iman and Iman be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it increases with obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us and what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam commanded us to do and it decreases with ma'asiyatillah with disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says في كتابه الكريم وعطيه الله وعطيه الله وعطيه رسول وقول الأمر منكم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Obey Allah and obey his messenger and those charged in authority over you so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has aligned with obedience to him or part of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being obedience to the leader of the Muslims. And this is why those who adhere to Kitab Allah wa Sunnat Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam do not encourage people to rebel against the Muslim authority or to revolt against the Muslim authority or to curse and attack the honor and backbite the Muslim authority or any of the various ways of pro protesting against the Muslim authority because they realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us and whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to do something that means it's an act of worship and that means it is wajib, it's an obligation upon us to do the opposite of that means it's something sinful, it's haram so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem wa ati'u Allah wa ati'u rasul wa awli al-amri minkum Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says obey Allah and obey the messenger and those charged in authority over you so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made ta'ati wali al-amr you know obedience to the Muslim authority as a part of obedience to him subhanahu wa ta'ala so that means that if the authority commands us to do anything that is lawful, mubah, or that it's an obligation, we should follow them in that. Something that's halal, we follow them in that. And if it's something muharram, which is prohibited by Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then we avoid it and there's no obedience in those affairs. This is why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, he said hearing and obeying the Muslim authority and those things which you love and those things which you dislike as long as he doesn't command you to be disobedient to Allah and if he commands you to be disobedient to Allah, then there's no hearing and obeying in that command. But that does not negate obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or obedience to the ruler in totality. It means in the command of disobedient, the sinfulness that they've commanded you to do. For example, if they tell you to commit zina, they can tell you to drink alcohol, they tell, if they tell you to take interest, you don't, do not obey them in that but you obey them in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you obey them in the other commands of goodness and along with that ahabta fillah the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said as-sami wa ta'ala marayya muslim fi ma yuhibbu wa kariya so he said in those things which you like and that which you dislike meaning that there are some things which may be mubah meaning that they don't have a hukum they don't have a ruling aslan 
in the shara. For example, eating apples or uh, wh whatever the situation may be, or obeying traffic signals. Okay? In general, that has no hukum in the shara. That has no ruling. It's something mubah in its asl. But because the Muslim authority has commanded you to do something which is not haram, and even though you may want to speed and you may want to go and run the red lights or you may not feel that there's a need for them, but they enforce that. Part of being obedient to them or part of being obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is obeying their command with regards to those traffic signals. The asl of that command is mubah in its origin, but now that the Muslim authority is enforcing that as a rule, then you obey them in that. And that's why the Prophet ﷺ said, muslim fima yuhibbu wa karya. And that things which you like and that which you dislike. Because you might dislike it. But the authority has put that in place for the benefit of the general community, of the greater preventing the harm and the danger of running traffic signals and being uh, and speeding and the other harms of that. So this shows us the importance of habitifillah of obeying the Muslim authority and that which is right and correct and avoiding rebellion and encouraging the people to go against the authority and criticizing them especially on the member and in public forums and even in private if it involves backbiting but if it comes to you trying to address your right and get your get your your rights then that's permissible to speak about what was taken from you to those who can change the situation like the government themselves or somebody who on your behalf can change that situation and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil